Sergey Manukov Opie on boxing scene. Uh, what was going through your mind in that 12th round as you went in there? Did you think you had the fight in the uh, won because on two of the judges' scorecards you were winning? Yeah, yeah. I think is uh, I won. I'm uh, every my every my every round. I'm uh, controlled. Yeah, I am controlled. And um, 11 round, I don't know, is um, close. Uh, and the 12th round, yes, he 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 punched me for my my body. Do you feel like you broke something, or you were just out of breath? Your body when he hit it, you think you broke your breath? Yeah, yeah. He 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 punched me for my 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 liver, and you didn't feel like he broke it. I can't breathe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. I I can't. I just cannot feel this pain, so I stopped for a while. Sergey Francisco Salazar, a nice to great fight. It seemed at the beginning of the fight, up until the middle rounds, you, you were very good with the left hand, counter left and lead hook to the Was that something that you and Andre worked on in the, in the, in the training camp? Yeah, of course. Yes. Andre was here and uh, Gary Stark and uh, Sergei Gorczynski. Every time I walk, I walk and uh, my, my hook and... Was it, during, as the fight progressed, did you sense that Munkia was tiring, or did you sense that? Uh, you, what, 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 did you think that Munkia was tiring in the in the later rounds, or did you did you, did you or did you want to capitalize more to the body, or what was your thoughts in that part of the fight? Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I saw, I saw he he style. I'm a couple a couple time. I'm uh, I'm punch his body. He he uh, something he uh, slow down, and uh, uh, but he tough fighter. He uh, he slow down after he's come uh, yeah after recover and come back. And Sergey. C congratulations on a good fight, good performance. How disappointed are you in the decision? And also, are are you happy that you know you you put on a good fight and you know what you had to do in there? Said really because I know that I won the fight. I just did a good job. Uh, I work with my team like whole whole camp. Uh, I training. I, I was prepared for this fight, so I'm not so really sad. So just I know that I won the fight. Because the fight, of course, I'm lose by score, but I really won the fight, and I know this, and the people see this, and everyone coming to see the good fights. So. We just we're fighting for people, not for judges, because that's what we're doing. Sergey, congratulations for this fight. Yeah, the judges called it was victory for Mugia, but personally for you, it was a victory for Sergey. Straight that questions. Say it again, again, please. Say it again, please. Ah. Personally, the judges called the victory for Mungia, yeah. But personally, for you, there was a victory for Sergi. It was Sergi's yeah, victory. Did you think you won the fight? Did you think you won the fight? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 of course. Hey, Sergey. Uh, I wanted to know, you know, before the fight, there was a lot of booze when you walked in, but after in the post fight, a lot of the fans started cheering you on. Did that, do you think that you earned the respect of not only Bungia, but just the crowd here at, uh, at Toyota Arena? They said, uh, do you feel like they, uh, you earned the crowd's respect because they were cheering for you towards the end of the fight? 
Mm-hmm. Like, do you think you won the fans over? Mm-hmm. Like, the fans Just love you. I think mean, you got the fans mm-hmm. loving you. Он говорит, что чувство судьбы, что фаны после боя, когда они за тебя болели больше, чем за другие, как бы чувствуешь, что это после боя, когда толпа как бы... Ну, no, да, 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 все, все, все не Yes, I've, I, I just feel the crowd, uh, they're cheering on me, and uh, uh, the people always telling the truth inside the ring. So the people outside who are coming, they're always cheering if uh, the, uh, the, it's, this is a really fair fight. So I feel I'm one because the crowd cheering on me. So I respect this, I'm fighting for people. You seem like you were pressuring early. Was that the game plan going in to make your presence felt early in the you know rounds one through six? Sergey, one question for me with uh, Jaime here in front of you. You fought Daniel Jacobs, Charlo Golovkin. How would you compare Jaime's power to those fighters? Uh, if, serious, is, if seriously, it is um, Golovkin and, um, and Charlo is uh, stronger punches for middleweight. Yeah. yeah, this is for you, Andre. Could you give us your assessment of the fight was there at any point you were concerned about what was going on? Take us through it from your perspective in the corner. Well, from, from the beginning of the fight, uh, Sergey was implementing the game plan to the T. Uh, we worked on everything you saw him doing in the ring, albeit some moments that uh, he, it, it could have been a, bit, uh, a little bit sharper, but the game plan was being followed accordingly uh, until the very moment that he got knocked down, which is why I thought that he had pulled it out. He had really banked a lot of rounds and um, it was a fantastic fight. It was close, but I do think that my charge definitely was the victor and I'm very proud of him. He's had nothing but tough ones. Um, he seems to be the bridesmaid instead of the bride because we don't ever seem to be on the side of the decision that we'd like to be on. But nonetheless, um, he's like the people's champ. And I'm truly, truly proud of him for what he did tonight. All right. Thanks a lot, Sergey. No, I didn't. Wow, and that, that's amazing. But you know what? When a, in an event of this magnitude and, and as close as it was, uh, I'm pretty sure that you all would agree that if they got in the ring and danced again, everybody would be happy. So, <laughs> let's, let's get it together. Uh, this is a fantastic young man. This is a fantastic fighter. Let them do it again. Boxing has to be exciting. You, you can't wait for things not to work. And when they put on a performance of this nature, of this caliber, you can't wait for it to happen again. I'd love to see it again because these guys put it on the line and I think that it, the next time if they danced in the ring again, it'll be even more exciting. Fantastic bout. Let's do the rematch. I'm calling for it. That, that's right. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. Sir. Thank you very much. Okay. I'll pass the mic over. Uh,
That's the night over to our front of the middle of the ground, so we were able to introduce this fight. Pero, pero estamos aquí, seguimos invictos y vamos a seguir trabajando y a seguir aprendiendo. Well, first of all, I would like to thank everybody for being here. Uh, it was honestly a sensational fight. We make some mistakes. We're we're gonna go to the gym and, and correct those mistakes. And we we believe that uh, it was a terrific, terrific fight for all the audience and for everybody. So I'm very happy for that to give the people's to give all the people this kind of fight. Jaime, felicidades en una gran pelea y por la victoria. ¿Qué difícil era esta pelea y qué conforme estás con la decisión? Uh, Jaime, uh, first of all, congratulations for this uh, great victory. Uh, how difficult it was and how pleased are you with the decision? Eh, bueno, la verdad, estoy contento por la decisión. Creo que fue una buena decisión. Este, y la verdad, eh, yo creo que eh, pues me costó trabajo agarrarlo, se me movía mucho, me, 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 pues me estaba eh, dificultando la pelea, pero eh, pues gracias a Dios pudimos ajustar a partir del 10 y logramos tumbarlo. I think it was a correct decision. Uh, he was moving a lot and uh, it was difficult for me to catch him, but at the end uh, we catch him in the 10 and uh, he was hurt and in the 12 he was uh, very very hurt. So I think I think we deserve to win the, the fight and, and I think it was a, a good decision. Congratulations, Jaime, on a good, beautiful fight. Towards the end of the fight, you took complete control. You stating you wanted to stay at 168 and fight for the titles. There's one man who has all the titles and his name is Canelo Alvarez. What is a Mexican showdown? Just like Eric Morales used to do it. What does that sound to you? Sí, así es, la verdad, pues yo creo que sería una gran pelea, eh, pues Canelo y yo, yo creo que pues sería una gran fiesta mexicana, este, pero pues vamos a ver qué pasa, eh, por ahorita vamos a estar en la 168, este, y vamos a seguir trabajando y a seguir mejorando. Uh, I think you, uh, Canelo and I, we can put a tremendous Mexican festival, and I think it's a great fight for both of us and for the country, and, uh, but right now we're gonna keep working and keep improving, in the gym, and of course we're gonna we're gonna stay at 168 pounds. Uh, Jaime, um, can you take me through that 12th round? What did you see, um, and what kind of things did you see that you know you could take advantage of in that 12th? Bueno, la yo, yo creo que del 10 al 12 estuve haciendo un buen trabajo. Este, creo que en el 12 pues logramos agarrarlo con, con un ancho al cuerpo. Lo miraba que estaba cansado. La verdad, yo estaba muy bien. Este, y pues la verdad, lo, lo golpeé. Pues creo que casi por los tres minutos lo tumbé. Este, y lo traje. No, no respondía. Lo traje a golpes, golpes, golpes. Y yo creí que el referee iba a parar la pelea. No sé por qué no la paró. Well, uh, since the 10 round, we were preparing this uh, because in the, in the 10 round, we start working from the 10 to the 12. And uh, in the 12 round, we catch him with a good body punch. And uh, I don't know, I think I hit him almost for three minutes with no, with no answer. And uh, I don't know why the referee didn't stop the fight, honestly. Eh, Jaime, ¿qué, ¿qué tal? Buenas noches. Eh, ¿Qué crees tú que hay que corregir después de esta pelea para los grandes retos de las 168 libras? Eh, bueno, uh, Jaime, good night. Uh, what do you think that we need to improve uh, after this fight for being the best in 168? Bueno, yo creo que este, pues hay que trabajar bastantes cosas. Eh, primero que nada. Pues hay, hay que estar más tiempo en el gimnasio, ¿no? Hay que estar más tiempo en el gimnasio, hay que trabajar más. Este, y yo creo que, pues, controlarme un poquito más, eh, trabajar más mi distancia. Este, pero, pues, sin dudas, creo que fue una gran pelea. 
Well, I think I need to go back to the gym and uh, see all the mistakes that, uh, that I did in this fight and prepare myself better and being in the gym learning and learning. And, uh, but I think, I think it was a great fight. Munguia, are you upset that Oscar and Bernard Hopkins aren't here? Excuse me? Is he upset that Oscar and Bernard Hopkins aren't here? Well, Eric is here. He's the CEO. Oh, I think he's the president. So, I, you know, because he's enojado porque. No, yo no estoy. I know. Golden boy, James here. Sassy's here. Come on. Oh, yo no, yo no estoy enojado, no. La verdad, no. Está, pues, Eric, que lo quiero mucho. Está Fernando, está Fernando Beltrán, que que es mi mi promotor. Eric, que están. Pues okay, las man. personas importantes están todos ustedes y la verdad estoy muy contento por eso. Muchas gracias por venir a apoyarnos. Jaime. Well, Jaime. no, I'm not, as, I am not as upset. Uh, um, I love Eric. He's here. And all the Golden Boy team is here. And we're very happy. Absolutely not, not upset. And I'm more happy that all you guys are here. Jaime. Este, primeramente, felicidades de mi parte y de todos que estamos aquí. Muy, muy buena pelea. Aquí tenemos a, al manejador de David Benavides, el señor José Benavides te quiere felicitar. Dele coach. Jaime, uh, the, uh, Mr. Benavides is on the line. Emocionamos muchísimo. Bien, bienvenido a las 168 libras. Nos divertimos mucho. Está. Lo, lo puede repetir. Buena. Oh, que, que, que felicidades por tu pelea, una muy, muy buena pelea, bienvenido a las 168 libras, te miraste espectacular aquí, nos tenías, estaba muy emocionante la pelea, felicidades. Muchísimas gracias señor Benavides, le, le agradezco mucho, le mando un fuerte abrazo y pues aquí estamos en las 168, estamos listos. La pelea, con mucho gusto, es un honor pelear contigo. Y el Canelo Álvarez no quiere enfrentar a David Benavides yo sé que tú quieres pelearle a todo el mundo y no le tienes miedo a nadie así es, si no quieren pelear entre mexicanos nosotros peleamos entre mexicanos, con mucho gusto esto, eh, esta es la, la pelea Beltrán, saludos eso bueno well, Ok, so, so yeah, so he said congratulations, uh, you represented Mexico well, uh, great champion, Mexican champion, we're very proud of you, it was a very exciting fight. He also, and Jaime thanked him and he said thank you and I appreciate the nice comments and he said it would be an honor to do a fight with my son, uh, David Benavides Jr. against you. And he said, you know what, I'm ready and willing anytime. Oh. Here. Jaime, do you think uh, with this performance you, um, you had to overcome a lot, you overcame disaster pretty much, yet if you, uh, the two scorecards had you losing in the 12th, so if you didn't have the knockdown it would have been a majority draw. Do you think now a lot of fighters would want to fight you because you looked vulnerable in this fight? Sí, pues ojalá que nos den la oportunidad. La verdad es que pues esta pelea nos ayudó bastante, nos hizo crecer bastante y si nos dan la oportunidad nosotros vamos a, a seguir aprendiendo, a seguir creciendo y, y, vamos, y vamos a pelear. Uh, honestly, if they give me the opportunity, one of the champions, I'm more than happy to get that, that opportunity. If, it's this, if, it, if this fight makes me vulnerable, honestly, I would love to take the opportunity and I will, I will go to the gym and fight anybody. And fight anybody. Jaime, felicidades. Tienes un gran maestro con Eric Morales. Uh, que en, en el entrenamiento, en su segunda pelea, que... ¿Qué, ¿Qué puedes aprender de las veces que te conectó con ganchos uh, Dervichenko en su asalto, en la, en la pelea? Uh. Eh, bueno, yo, yo creo que, eh, pues sí, eh, yo creo que lo que tú dices es, eh, pues estuvimos trabajando bastante en el gimnasio, obviamente, eh, pues no es lo mismo el gimnasio de ya estar arriba del ring, pero pues vamos a seguir de tratar a tratar de seguir mejorando tratar de seguir aprendiendo este y pues a, a trabajar no, no hay de otra 
la traduzco. So the question was, uh, you have a great, a great uh, coach in Eric Morales. Uh, what do you think you should do uh, right now to get better? And, um, and uh, the answer was Jaime, Jaime said that uh, he needs to go to the gym more often. He needs to go to, to, uh, to practice and to learn more. Every day he learns and he's very, very happy with the victory. Adriana Noriega de ABN y Fox Deportes. Eh, felicidades, Jaime. Tengo una pregunta para el campeón, Eric. ¿Qué, qué piensas de la actuación de Jaime? ¿Y qué le, qué le decías a, a Jaime entre en los rounds? Well, the, the question is for Eric Morales, pero, but first, congratulations, Jaime. I am from, from Fox Sports. Adriana, Adriana Noriega. And uh, the question is for Eric Morales. What he said between rounds. Bueno, yo creo que en entrada Jaime fue muy valiente. Jaime tenía un plan de pelea. Y él quería, primero que nada, agradar al público. Segundo, terminar por knockout. Y en ímpetu de lo que estaba haciendo, inicio de los primeros rounds, se precipitó y empezó a, a irse este, con todo, creyendo que que podía, podía hacerlo y faltarle respeto a Deberchenko, que es un peleador con mucha experiencia eh, y que se veía muy bien trabajado, con muchas ganas de ganar. Entonces, eh, Jaime, no, lo único que puedo decir es que es un, un gran valiente del ring, aunque entiendo que la pelea fue muy complicada por, por lo que vieron. Eh, son simples detalles de, 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 de la, del ímpetu que él maneja y de las ganas de agradar al público. Así que no se preocupen, Jaime debe trabajar en el gimnasio y ser más ordenado para ganar las peleas. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, so, I'm going to try to translate this, but it was like an, an hour of uh, so, so what Eric says, he's, Jaime is a very brave, brave fighter, and he, what he really wanted, it, wanted is to please the audience and to please everybody of you. Uh, and he, because of that, he wanted to please everybody and to get, finish the fight by knockout. And in the fifth round, he he, he took some punches that he he. he but uh, nobody nobody worries about Jaime. He's gonna work in the gym and he's gonna be better, much much better in the next fight. Thank you. Thank you. That wraps it up.